What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. I'm back with a different kind of video for you today. So I wanted to make a video and I'm kind of looking forward into 2018 looking at some of the extensions and the things in SketchUp that I'm excited about that I want to uh, create some videos on. And so what I wanted to do is I just wanted to create a video about the top things that I'm excited about for SketchUp, uh, specifically extensions. So before I get started I do want to take a second to thank my newest supporter on Patreon. Al Orson. So Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, if you're finding it helpful, uh, maybe consider supporting the show in the links down below. Um, but let's go ahead and just jump into it. So the first extension I'm excited about in 2018 is Extrude Tools. I've done a couple videos on Extrude Tools before. It's actually been around a while, but something about SketchUp 2017 just didn't work right with this extension. It wouldn't create the faces correctly, so you couldn't really use it, and it just wasn't very helpful. However, now that it's been updated for SketchUp 2018, everything's been working great. So I'm really excited to kind of dive a little deeper into this extension and to figure out some of the cool things that you can do. Um, for those of you that don't know extrude tools is an extension that allows you to basically extrude edges into faces so that you don't have to have any kind of thickness to your faces in order to extrude them. Um, extension number two, Clothworks. So SketchUp has never really had accurate cloth or fabric simulation, but Sketchication has put out several tweets teasing the release of an extension that allows actual cloth simulation in SketchUp. Um, it looks like you can generate anything from clothes to drapes, and it looks like it basically accurately simulates the way that cloth acts in the real world. Um, release date hasn't yet been set. Um, they've teased an early 2018 release time, and I don't think they've said anything about cost yet. But whenever it gets put out, I will be downloading it, and I will be seeing what we can do with it, because it's really exciting. Um, a week and a half ago, there was a cryptic tweet from the guys over at Mindsight Studios stating they have a free new SketchUp plugin coming out. They didn't have any more information than that other than to say to follow them on Twitter and more information would be coming soon. But these are the guys that created Placemaker, Profile Builder, and Artisan. So if they're putting, out, if they're putting it out, it has to be good. Um, more info to come as we find out what it is and what it does. So I've done a couple videos on Inscape before. It's a real-time rendering program that quickly creates photorealistic renderings so that you can walk around in real time with a single click of a button. Um, as I've started to work with more different rendering programs, I've really gotten an appreciation for just how easy Inkscape is to use. You literally just click a button, it opens up the viewer, and it applies textures and settings based on keywords and the material names. And all of the real-time renderings look really good, just with the stock settings, and it's really easy to adjust everything. Also, the rumor is they have a material editor feature coming out soon as well. So I'm really excited to see where this extension goes in 2018. So Kubity, or Cubity, is a 3D viewer for your SketchUp files that allows you to view your models in virtual reality. For any of you that have had a virtual reality experience, you know that being able to view your models in real scale is a total design game changer. Um, Cubity allows you to view your models on your PC with an Oculus Rift or Vive headset, on a mobile device with a Google Cardboard, or you can overlay models on real-world locations using augmented reality. The desktop viewer or the mobile device allows a live model, so you should be able to use this feature for free. And they also have a paid version that allows more models and has other features as well. Um, in any case, easy, quick, virtual reality viewing of your models is a huge deal in SketchUp. I did an intro video on Viz last week. Um, basically, Viz is a parametric modeling extension that allows you to generate true parametric models in SketchUp. This is a completely new feature that hasn't been in SketchUp before. And so while there's not a lot of documentation out there yet, as more tutorials and information get posted online, I'm really excited about learning new ways to use this kind of modeling. Um, I'm hoping to bring you more tutorials on the way this works as well. Um, but bringing parametric modeling to SketchUp is really exciting. V-Ray. I know I've been saying it for a long time and it's almost here. V-Ray tutorials have probably been the most requested tutorials on this channel. V-Ray is the industry leading rendering program and I'm excited to finally bring you V-Ray tutorials either next month in February or starting in March. Um, I know you've been asking for them and I'm really excited to get in there, see what V-Ray can do and uh, start creating some stuff for you guys. 
Wrapper is a new UV mapping extension for SketchUp that allows you to map materials to complex surfaces. Um, there have been other UV mapping extensions before, but the functionality of this one seems to really go above and beyond. This by itself is super useful, but what I'm really excited about is using Wrapper to map materials properly for export to Unreal Engine or to Unity, so that you don't have to jump into another program before getting your models into those engines. Um, those really powerful gaming engines can create fantastic renderings, and with the use of Wrapper, getting your models from SketchUp to these engines could be getting a lot easier. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. What are you excited about in 2018? Did I leave anything off this list that you're really excited about? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Um, but in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.